G'day, this is Captain Noob. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen Legend Difficulty with mods. We're about to start Operation Diamond Queen. It's an advent retaliation, so this is none of the uh, standard uh, run around and find people type mission. It's a go around. Actually, that's exactly what it is. It's not a haven mission. It's one of those things. And we might or might not see the Warlock. If we do, then we got to remember that he's got none of his weaknesses that we can use against him anymore at least for the time being so that makes him pretty scary bringing along devastator marauder lone wolf muncher and disco uh only five hopefully we can get a promotion here pretty soon i know that um carla just hit lieutenant but we'd be getting closer somewhere right Eh, uh, not really disco is fairly off a little bit um it's too bad that we can't bring Becca in because she's getting closer and closer to getting at captain rank, so that's all right. It's good to have two, at least two of every one of every different class, just so you can use them alternating like. We've also got the doom counter, you know, ticking down, so we got to do something about that. Um, if at all possible, I'd like to get a little bit of... Uh, a special weapon before we go and take on the advent facility, so I should probably push back the robot that I'm constructing for that. The game's asking for just six, and remember that one of them will end up being a faceless. Actually, I think two of them will end up being a faceless, so that's a little bit scary. We'll have to see how we go. Menace one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Don't love sitting next to a car for starting off, but I don't think we've got any alternative to that. Here I come. We'll just get everyone. Around and then we'll go for a round of overwatches. Maybe something will walk into us. Gonna be a nope. Ah, berserkers have been deployed. Yep, that's pretty much what they do. So, they're gigantic fridge bullet sponges, so they're kind of scary. I'd really like to see something in our game. We're getting not a lot so far. We're already a civilian down, we can only let that happen another six times. Okay, there's another bunch. They're moving their way out. Maybe I should be a little bit more aggressive here, I think. You're okay, game? Need a moment to think about it? There we go. Alright. Come on, give me something. Nothing. What I might do with Disco is run him up here, if I can. Hello? Why can't I go up there? There's not something blocking me, is there? Maybe there is. It's kind of weird. Why can't I go up there? Game? Moving on target location. Ah, man, we'll keep... In order to keep everyone safe, I think we'll just have to keep doing this. There we go. So they're gonna walk into us with this now. Little pistol shot. Doesn't do much. Adjusting aim. Steer clear of those berserkers. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. Enter Bullet Sponge Town. There he is. If we can deal with this mech, that would be really good. Oh, that's a big lift. Enemy is still up. Devastators. Oh my goodness! He's just executed. <laughs> yes! Perfect. Excellent. Okay, it's a little bit of damage on the mech. 
Uh, and then that purifier teleports back. Alright, so there's a, a guy over there as well. Alright, I think this is as good a time as any to use uh, one of our three nades if we can get it. Yep, there we go. We'll knock down the cover and then we'll utilize Disco for sniping. A little bit of shred in there. Let's see, Disco, Disco, mate. Actually, you've got a Lightning Hands, which you can possibly kill this guy with. Nice! There we go. And this isn't going to be a kill, but it'll be close. I wonder what caliber these snipers are chambered in. We'll, use, we'll just uh, shoot him with Devastator. Down he goes. And now we just move on. We've also got the... Um, uh, maybe I want to get close to these civilians. Yeah, I'll keep moving. We're a little bit spread out now, but we might be okay. <laughs> For some reason, I just thought that Advent officer was a midget. He's just squatting down. <laughs> Advent have started in playing Ewoks into the army. Well, they can take down the Galactic Empire, so I guess they're a little bit of a threat. Alright, let's start rescuing people, I guess. Alright, there's one. Moving to position. Ooh, might have something here. I've got eyes on advent yep. Purifier, a sectoid, and another one of those there. Or is this just a two pod? Okay, cool. Interesting. So, uh, that's a pretty good shot. We've got a 45 and that. Uh, okay. Question is, do we have a shot with Marauder? No. Let's do this. Can I reach with a grenade? Not on your life. We're just going to partial cover then. We could... Uh, I mean, Carla's a bit flanked right now. Could grapple up there, but it's not going to help me. The purifier won't be too much of a problem. We'll take a couple of roughies on this guy. And then hope that he triggers, he just goes for some mine stuff. I lack seven damage, it's pretty good. We can, we can possibly take him out with Disco right now. We'll have a shot. And we could actually run and gun here, and I don't think we'll actually see... I don't think we'll actually see the mechs and stuff behind it. The, there's a mech and a berserker, I believe. So, kill a sectoid, would ya? Good hit, Carla. Probably could have done that and then shot the um, thing with Munch. They're getting a little bit closer. We might have the Berserker and the other mech show up in just a second. Yep, here we go. Oh, wow. There's even more than I thought. Very confused purifier. Alright, so we've got a Hundi there. Um, I might... Consider f oh, we can't do much. Obviously, the robot is immune to the flashbangs. There's an advanced trooper down there. But this berserker could cause quite a lot of problems for us. A lot of problems. She's pissed. We've got a 70 here, a 37. I think we ought to take this one then. Shot. We have to get Devastator into cover here. Unfortunately, we can't take this shot. Oh, man, I don't want to bunch up too much. 
This berserker is big and spongy, and I don't like him. I'm not a fan. I think Carla's in a bit of strife here, actually. It's a good hit, but now we've got to deal with the brunt of these guys. What is wrong with that guy's legs? We desperately need the sixth person, I think. Wow. Oh boy. Don't do it, Mac. Don't do it. What's he gonna do, eh? He's gonna take a shot. Be cool, Carla. Oh, bye. Oh. Okay, the purifier is running off. I'm okay with that. It's one less to deal with, right? So what we'll do is we'll go revival protocol here. We'll take this shot. Now that's some shotgun power right there. If it can push a berserker all the way like that. Now I'm gonna get Disco. We'll do a bit of teamwork here. And then we'll shoot this mech. Uh, actually, we should probably shred it first, to be honest. We've got a 73. I'm gonna move in a bit closer. Full cover. I mean, half cover, so, you know, it's no guarantee this will... But I need the extra hit percentage there. There's one shredded. We can... If we hit it for eight, then we're good. Damn it. Quiet, Disco. Um, we could reload here, but that's kind of it. Well, I could move her back. I've got this shot here, which I'm going to take. It's pretty good. Good work, Devastator. And you got a promotion out of it too, Sergeant. Congratulations. I'm going to go the healing Carla on this one, I think. Gremlin, get on the heels. I'm going to play this a little bit defensively like. We'll, we'll hunker down, we'll overwatch, and then wait for his approach. Really being slowed down here. But I'm going to be using... Ooh, what's, where's he going? That's weird. There you are. Uh, we haven't reloaded yet. What's our blade do? Six to eight? That's not a guarantee. I'll have a shot with Devastator here, and if this works, I'll go in for the blade. Come on. Good hit. I hope this isn't a faceless. Go on, get going. No, it's good. It's all good. It's number three. We can't let another one die. Oh, yeah. They're probably going to, mind you. <laughs> Unless they miraculously oh, engage us on off. this next one. Uh, we could probably heal... Oh, actually. On my way. I'll just move out here in the hopes that we can catch the advent guys coming in this direction. We'll move Disco up as well. Can't really do much. Probably shouldn't have bothered taking him out, I don't think. Ah, <sighs> so, there's a chance that we might actually still be able to walk away with a W on this. Heading there now. Come on. Here we go. Got some advent here. 
four dudes. And they got a chance to start shooting at the at the things anyway. We're flanked here, so that ain't gonna fly. It's got full cover. Our highest percentage is this one. It's an advanced trooper. It's not a guarantee for a kill or a hit even. Damn it. Not good. Let's move already. We've got a flank here on the officer, which is pretty good. I probably should have done that one first. We could have possibly killed the officer straight up. We'll use the grappling hook, I think. We can run and gun this to blue move and then take a shot, but we can't get in a position where we can do that without being exposed ourselves, can we? Or I could run and gun and then flashbang the lot of them while saving this civilian, maybe, but it's probably not even a civilian, right? It's probably a faceless. Any one of these civilians could actually be a faceless right now. We can flashbang these two. We'll do it. Now what'll probably happen is that stun lance is gonna come in. He's got three to four, this one's got five to five. So this is the big threat here. There we go. We're still flanked here, but there's the faceless. All right. Then we're going to start shooting at that one, will they? Come on, Devastator. You got this, man. Oh, looked so good. And he can mark. So, the stun lance is going to come in and poke him. Disoriented. It's not the worst that could happen. And the Purify is probably going to go for a fiery spray. Or move twice, even. Uh, sure. I've got another grenade, which I can utilize here. I can hit both the... Um, the Advent Officer, that'll open up a flank if it destroys the tree, which it might, and put a little bit of damage on the Faceless. There you go. I could come in here and then kill the Faceless with a chopper fight. No, I can't. It's not possible. We've got a lightning hands on this guy, which is nice. Good hit. We might be able to drop this um, stun lancer with Disco here. It's a good chance. We're a good chance here. Excellent. Uh, not enough. Not enough. So I say we pull this guy. Got to believe in the 96. He's dead now. That's good. Then we've got the grenade for Mr. Faceless over there. Which will allow me to reload here with Carla. And take an 88 -er. Come on, you can do this. Hoo -hoo! Sent him flying across the floor. Hair trigger for a free action.
Do I want to creep a bit closer? I think I want to do that. I could reload here. We've got a 49. Flip the coin. You're a superstar, Carla. Alright, there's the faceless man. Okay, the blob monster has revealed itself. We'll reload here. And then we'll just, like, move here. Now that faceless is gonna come out. That's gotta be a dash. Surely! Alright, disorientation removed. Good news. We've got a 94 here. I like it. We've got a 78 here. We've got a hundy here. Take it. Wow. Status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. We only just scraped by there. Of course. <laughs> of course, the, the the hero of the day, the MVP, is Carla. MVP for the campaign so far. Only one kill. Definitely underutilized him. I think he came in handy at the end there. He didn't do much else, but it worked out. Bad news is that we took a bunch of injuries there, which is really bad. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that propaganda. Drivel. So I think our next move is to go over to the Templar base and heal faster. Alright, so Moraud, a Devastator, and Mantra tired, unfortunately. Hello, Commander. Wow. And Kala has got a fear of the lost, despite them not being there. Well, that's weird. Alright, we might actually wait until we have plated armor. That's actually very, 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 um... Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, I, I mean, I gotta do it. We can run down this clock a little bit more. Um, truthfully, I'd like it to be less pressing. We have a positive confirmation on an emergency... Never mind, looks like, uh, Japai and I think Kylie's just been ambushed again. Firebrand is already en route. Your attempts at subterfuge have failed, and this defeat will be a costly one. Alright, I guess we'll just go straight down there. Not our first ambush radio, but seriously, again, I really want the card where it makes ambushes and being captured impossible. Oh, we've got Cleaver and Jap. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Alright, we've got a bit of a ways to go here, and we only have the stand. Actually, there we go. We've got um, Jasper's repeater and laser sight shotgun, so... Um, we might be okay. We've definitely got better damage output this time, and we've got a little bit of health on Jasper since he is Sergeant. Also, he can bypass Overwatch and chop stuff up real good, so... We'll continue this next time, I suppose. Uh, join me for yet another ambush. This time it shouldn't be so um, scary, but we'll have to see how we go, eh? Thank you very much for watching, guys.